Qasim mentions the attainment of 3,000 black fighter jets by Pakistan, which he believes are the black standards mentioned in the hadiths. Qasim's description of these fighter jets is unparalleled to any account which I have heard from the ulema. His explanation provides a modern perspective on the notion of the black standards of the East. Qasim claims that these aircrafts possess advanced technology that will leave the rest of the world's scientists and engineers baffled. After examining the hadith, I found that the black standards or banners will rise and the word used for rise is the same as the verse from the Qur'an describing the sun rising, indicating flight, so it is something that has flight capabilities. The hadith reads, Then the black standards or banners will rise from the east and they will kill you in an unprecedented manner, a way which has never been done before. Qasim has stated that no one would be able to easily defeat these aircrafts meaning they will be able to hold their own ground against opposing forces, so they have an impenetrable defense. The hadith reads, Black standards will come from Khurasan. Nothing shall turn them back, meaning repel them. Qasim says, Pakistan will fight both superpowers, America and Russia, and defeat them. This suggests to me that the army of the black standards will have extraordinary warfare capabilities, unlike any other nation as they will be able to fight both the superpowers at once. And the hadiths even mention that in the Malhama, there will be a battle where you will have one flag of truth fighting 80 flags of falsehood on the other side. And Qasim even remarks that he wishes the war was never imposed on us and we defended ourselves and our enemies themselves wanted death. The hadith reads, Then the black banners or standards will rise from the east and they will kill you in an unprecedented manner, a way which has never been done before. I want you to ponder about this hadith for a minute. In the history of mankind, we have fought with swords, shields, horses, and even bow and arrows. And if the hadith is saying that they will kill you in a way that hasn't been done before, it will most likely be an advanced type of warfare. Allah knows best. Qasim says the Muslims will utilize the black standards and reclaim our lost territories, including Jerusalem and in Europe. This is an indicator of the superior power of the black fighter jets over the other machines of war. Therefore, nothing will be able to repel them with ease. I want you to think about this as well. If the army of the black standards were using flags and were fighting on the ground, they could easily be picked out by the enemy forces. In the modern age, having dominion over the sky dictates the victor. Just look at the outcome of the Azerbaijani-Armenian War and how the Azerbaijanis turned the tide of battle with the use of drones. The hadith reads, There will emerge from Khorasan black banners, which nothing will repel until they are set up in Jerusalem. To summarize, the black standards will rise this is hinting at flight capabilities. They will attack in an unprecedented manner, different from anything done before. So they will have extraordinary warfare capabilities. They will have an impenetrable defense which nothing can repel that easily, which is definitely not a horse. And they will reach Jerusalem, repelling any army who stand in their path. So they will be superior in power. So the black standards from the east are actually black fighter jets. And I mean, this makes sense because if Qasim establishes an Islamic government in Pakistan, he will need to be able to defend it, as this is the criteria of establishing a caliphate. As Imam al nawi explains, the caliph must be able to safeguard the Muslims from all sorts of harm, as he is a shield for the believers who are protected from harm under his leadership.